Good morning. My name is Blaine Prim from the Student Energy Team, and welcome to Com Community Meeting Monday. Emma Hack will be joining me in a bit to help introduce some of our segments on this Community Meeting Monday. Now let's introduce Mr. Patterson from somewhere in the building. Another go. Uh, helps, when the, helps when the microphone's on. Um, all right, guys. So I was saying, hopefully everybody had a happy holidays and a happy new year. We're glad to see everybody back here in the building. Excited to get back and roll. we got a couple weeks left in this semester. But it's time as we come back in that building to transition back into uh, some school things. And remember that uh, there's work to be done around here. We've got uh, classes to take care of. We've got work to take care of. I want to just remind you of a couple things as you're going to get reminders throughout the day as far as things we need to make sure we are doing in order to remain BMS strong. Number one will be a little different process. We've got, as you come in the building, you need to go to the cafeteria. You need to go to the restroom. Do that before you go to the cafeteria or the gym. Once you're in the gym, you're in the gym. We're not coming back and forth and moving around. The Chromebook cart's going to be in the gym so you can get your Chromebooks checked out if you have a, have a loaner. Um, second of all would be just some of those expectations in the classroom, guys. I mean, as you move from class to class, when the bell rings, I need you to go to your locker, go to the restroom, and then get to class and get started. Every class you'll have a, a do now to work on as soon as that bell rings and something to be doing on to get started to set that tone to really propel you into whatever that content is for that day. Um, as that class comes to a close, I'll remind you something I've been reminded as I was a student that when that bell rings, that bell is for the teacher to remind that teacher that it is time to dismiss you. So as the class comes to a close in each class period, you should be remaining in your seat. You should be working. You should be uh, diligently working toward whatever that assignment you have in class. And as that bell rings, remain there until that teacher dismisses you. That teacher dismiss you to head on out to your, your next class. Guys, we want to have a, a great day today. So if you have any questions, you need, need anything, let your teachers know. Again, going to have be reminded of what those expectations are throughout the day so that so that you know what is expected of you. Most things haven't changed, so they're pretty predictable. And we just uh, hope that you have a BMS strong day and we can finish out this school year. Uh, well, there's a lot to go here now, but as we come back from this break, it's just important that we get a, a great start to the 2022 school year. With that, back to Blaine in the studio. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Now let's take a look at our activities report. This week is another busy week at BMS. So let's take a look at our weekly calendar. Boys basketball have games this week on Wednesday and Saturday. Also, Blast meets Wednesday morning, every Wednesday morning. This Friday is a red flex day. And don't forget, this Friday is our New Year New Movie movie night. Let's look at our month of January calendar. Next week will be the Beta Junior Convention. Reminder, we are out of school on Monday, January 17th, and Term 2 ends January 21st. Reminder, homework help is every Tuesday and Thursday after school until 5 p.m. And finally... You got special guests coming up. Oh, Surprise! We have Mr. Patterson's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is uh, this is not Blaine's fault. Just uh, it helps when you see uh, when you're in those classes and maybe you're giving a presentation, maybe you got a note card to refer to. It helps when you refer to those note cards. So one of the things that uh, Mr. Patterson left off there would be part of homework help. Homework help is on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at at 3:20. A little bit different process in order to do that. We are uh, on your grade level Google Classroom there is a form that you can fill out in order to sign up for homework help. That form is going to ask you to identify what it is that you need help with and what kind of what work you're going to be doing if you've got missing assignments that you're needing to take care of during that time. That just helps us to know what you need so we can better support you there and make sure that we are supporting you through that homework help. So if you uh, intend to stay for homework help on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're going to need to go to your Google Classroom, your grade level Google Classroom, and fill out that form. A teacher can also recommend that for you. They've got a separate form where they can ask and recommend that you uh, stay for homework help, but just a little bit different process there. We want to better support you, and this is going to help us uh, to do that. If you've got any questions, ask me, ask Mr. Mahoney, Ms. Milby. We would be more than happy to uh, answer any questions you have about 
about homework help. So with that, appreciate you letting me uh, jump back in there. Sorry, Blaine, throw you off a little bit. But with that, back to Blaine. And reminder, and, f and finally, don't forget this Friday is new movie night. Tickets will be on sale every morning, and we'll, we will be selling concessions. You can wear school-appropriate pajamas to, to movie night, and we invite you to bring a blanket or a chair as seating, and it will be on the gym floor. Also, don't forget the house with the most attendance will earn 15 points and 10 points for second place and 5 points for third place. Stay tuned with Everything BMS on all of our social media pages. Now it's time to talk about this week's Karen Connect, Karen Connect theme. Joining us today is Izzy Beam from the Maryfield House. Um, good morning. <laughs> okay, the Karen, <laughs> the Karen Connect leaders from the Maryfield House and I designed a lesson based on New Year's resolutions. This week we will talk about realis realistic res resolutions and make some of our own. Uh, yeah, go Maryfield. <laughs> it's now time for Counselor's Corner. Help me welcome up Mr. Mahoney. Well, good morning, Bloomfield. My, oh my, have I missed you. So I have some important announcements that I'm sure most of you are waiting on the edge of your seat for. Put my first slide up there, Maddie. The house game score, as we remember after our winter house games, it was a tie between Davis and Maryfield with 11 and Muir House. Changed my slide. That updated our score to 89 for Maryfield, 86 for Muir and Davis House. After the dance, the attendance, my goodness, it was so close. It was only separated by four students. Hit the slide. Winner of the dance, the Muir House. They earned 15 points. Maryfield came in second with 10, and Davis House third place with five. Click me one more time. Here is our updated house board. Muir House retakes the lead with 101 points. Maryfield with 99, and Davis House with 91. And as we see there on the screen, the Muir House is absolutely absolutely just dominating this year. So congratulations to Owen, Governor of the Muir House, and everyone in the Muir House so far this year. But there's another way we can earn points, and here's how. As stated, the movie night is this Friday. We will start selling tickets, $5 tickets, tomorrow in the gym. And once again, you can earn house points. Now, the movie night, you'll be seated on the gym floor so you can wear school-appropriate pajamas, Bring in a blanket, bring in a folding camp stool, whatever you'd like, because your seating's the floor. So let's we're kind of doing like a drive-in movie in the gym. The doors will open at 5:30. The movie will start at 5:45, and pickup will be about 7:40, 7:45. We ask our parents to remain outside, and we will dismiss like we do at the dances. And we will be selling concessions at the movie night. So thank you to the house leaders for putting that together. Now couple other announcements. If you are interested in cheerleading, make sure you get on your student grade level uh, dashboard and sign up that cheerleading form. We have hired a cheerleading coach and a cheerleading assistant coach and we hope to get that started here in a couple weeks. And also from Mr. Metcalf, academic team practice will be this Thursday and Friday until 430. If you're interested in academic team, please see or email Mr. Metcalf and let him know. That's for the academic team. Now, I have a new segment, and it's called Blunt Moments with Mahoney. So if you're not paying attention in your room, I'm going to wait like 10 seconds for you to pay attention because what I'm about to say is very important and affects everyone in this building. So your blunt moment today from the lovable and huggable Mahoney. There will be no summer school this year. None. So if you're sitting on your hands, waiting on summer school, you are making a mistake. Let's get to work. Second term ends January 21st. That means we're halfway done with the year. And I know we're streaming live on Facebook, so parents watching this, this is a blunt moment for you too. No summer school. 
we got to get our students in gear. And trust me, students, when I tell you our teachers are here to ensure that you are going to be successful, but you have to do your part. And summer school will not be an option for your part. So let's get to work and have a successful, a successful remaining remainder of the school year. So with that being said, I'd like to welcome Emma back. There you go, Emma. It's now time for the student energy team segment. This week, we look back at footage from our winter house games and from the winter formal. Welcome back up, Blaine. Now it is time for the 4M, or Monday Morning Magic with Milby. Miss Milby has drawn another random teacher's name out of, out of the hat and is lurking in the hallways to surprise them with goodies from our local businesses. Let's turn it over to Miss Milby, live in our hallways. Good morning. Before we do our Monday Magic, this Friday will be another Milby Mart where you can get a comfy pants pass or a half pass or other treats. So be sure you have your December passes at lunch on Friday and stop by the concession stand to trade them in for something. Today's magic Milby is a gift card for $10 to just bake desserts because who doesn't need some sugar to deal with this very, very cold winter? Are you ready to see who the winner is? Thank you, Miss Milby. It is now time for our pledge. This week, our student pledge leader is Ryan Woods from the Davis House and from the Care Connect Gorilla Glue Gangsters. Now it's time for our pledge. pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stand, one nation, under God, Invisible with liberty and justice for all. Like Thank you and have a great week. 